All right, here's those fig cuttings that I got when I drove by that tree I'd been looking at for years. These three fig trees over off of Foothill Boulevard. Um, and for years, I kept telling myself, go get some cuttings, right? They look like wild seedlings. Uh, and today I drove by them. Two of them had been cut down and were laying in piles on the ground. Broke off a bunch of cuttings here so I can propagate them and keep it going to see what it turns out to be. There's also a really nice, super tall, probably 40 feet tall fig tree about, I don't know, 50 yards up the road from that. And it's got beautiful big black figs all over it, even though all the leaves are gone. The figs are up in the sky. They're beautiful looking, beautiful color. So I definitely need to go back and get some cuttings from that. And I'm really curious to see what happens when we grow it here in our yard and pots and take care of it for the next year or so. Got shears and I've got my loppers and we're going back and getting some cuttings from that beautiful black fig totally loaded with figs every year and uh, now's the time because they may cut that one down next before we take off though I want to keep these cuttings moist so I'm going to hit them with a little bit of water it's been pretty dry here in SoCal and I'm not sure how long that had been cut down it hasn't been very long you can see how fresh and nice and beautiful it still is inside everything's looking good it's dormant all the leaves have been gone but it's a beautiful living tree and we are going to keep it going and see what it gives us and we'll keep you posted now let's go get those cuttings from that black fig another beautiful winter day here in socal All right, here's what's left of those two big wild fig trees. So you had two of them growing here for years, as far as I can remember. Actually, I had one, two branch columns here. So one, two, you had another one over here. It's just a big, big fig complex right here for years and years. And we're down to pile of twigs we already came over here and got a bunch of cuttings from this tree i didn't have any tools like i said uh, but there's nothing wrong with that right you just go through and bust off the branches uh, as you can see here and over here it's really easy to do don't let an opportunity pass you by when you see this because they'll probably be out here to pick this up real soon all kinds of stuff on the ground um, beautiful cuttings in here. You pull out some of these branches, you've got really nice cuttings. Uh, for instance, uh, right here is a beautiful one. So if you look down here, come down here and just simply take this, bust that right off. There's a beautiful cutting right there, okay? We've already got plenty of them, but we're not going to waste that one. We'll take that with us. There's what we came here for. Look at all those beautiful black figs. Just as far as the eye can see. It's a good 40 feet up in the air. Just it's purplish black. We're gonna get some cuttings that have figs on them and fruit on them. Uh, they've got just this purplish, blackish, greenish variety. So it'll be real interesting to see what happens when we domesticate this bad girl beautiful trunk a beautiful trunk structure you could look at these uh, these are off these are the leaves from the sucker and if you go over here and let's look at the leaves from the main plant the main tree so we're gonna go through them we're gonna get some cuttings from here we definitely want to save this one, and I know those figs will turn out to be tasty. What we're going to do is we're going to cut this up here, take this whole branch here. I want to keep some of that fruit on there for identification purposes. Use my little table here. If you're going to do it, you might as well look for some real nice straight cuttings, right?
All right, I got some cuttings here. Take these back to the truck, and I'm going to go get my big uh, loppers to get some of these big branches. There we go. That's plenty of cuttings to keep that one going. Uh, that's what the leaf looks like, a beautiful leaf right there. And here is what the fruit looks like right here. So it's a black, smaller variety with a green undertone to it. Interesting to see, like I said, how this does with proper care, love, and nutrition. There's our tree again. Right there, silhouetted in the background. Let's go get another look at it. just a beautiful tree I wish I had my pole maybe I'll come back with it and get some branches from really high up there's typically more energy stored in the upper branches and I'd love to get a couple cuttings so I'll definitely be back with my pole cut some long branches off of that another day uh, and maybe even today it's a sickness Just a beautiful tree, really beautiful tree. I hope you learned something. If you did, please hit me up with a like, it really helps. And subscribe if you already haven't. And I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day, bye-bye.